Alright, so this is going to be the technical overview video for the Quake. Uh, we're going to, this is focusing on the mechanical portions. We covered the electronics and how to tuning in some other videos. Uh, so this is just going to be dealing with uh, how to disassemble it, do any maintenance you might need to do on it and such. So we're going to go ahead and start with a 7 16 wrench or driver as we have in this case. We're just going to loosen this up. And that lets us pull out the whole sliding mass and spring system. And for most of, for basic maintenance, that's really all you're going to need to do is take that off, lubricate your O-rings, these two O-rings, because they're the only two dynamic O-rings in the system, and you can put it back together. We're going to go ahead and break it all the way down here and uh, show you what's inside in case you need to break it down further. Now, before we get started on the more complete teardown, I want to say two things. One, we don't really recommend your average person do this. There are some small components inside that can be damaged if you don't do it properly. Uh, if you're having a problem with the, with the core of the system, uh, it's better to have us deal with it on warranty um, or take it to a qualified tech uh, to have them help you with it. If you are going to do it, there are a couple of tools that you will need. You will need a 5 ths Allen key, and then you will need the one that is probably going to be a little more difficult to find, which is a 35 thousandths Allen key. This is a very, very small Allen key. They, they can be found, but you might not be able to pick one up at your local hardware store. So before you try to do this, make sure you have found a source for these tools. To take this apart, what we're going to do is take this screw out using our 564. Uh, at this point, this whole piece can come apart. Now this is the core of your system. This is where your valve and your airline go in. Um, at this point we can just unthread these two pieces. There are no O-rings on this piece here. And then this is where you will need your very, very small Allen key. There's a small set screw which sits right here, which we're just going to back out. And then you can uh, get access to your valve if you need it. Notice I didn't pull this plug through. I recommend just leaving it there unless you really pull that out. If you need to completely pull this apart, you can pop the connector off of here and you can unscrew the valve. Do take care when you are reinstalling this valve. If you take it out, again, you're dealing with very small parts here. The O-rings on this valve can easily be damaged if you're not careful. Just be very gentle in screwing it back in and just make sure that you don't feel any binding at all. If you feel any binding, back it up a little bit and work it until everything goes in nice and smoothly. Lubricate those O-rings a little bit before you put them back together. Again, just to make sure you don't damage an O-ring. Most people will never need to do this. Again, this is just showing you the full breakdown in case you need it. There are three O-rings on the body here. These are all the same O-ring and if you need to replace them, you'll notice that there are actually six grooves. Three of them are air grooves and three of them are O-ring grooves. The grooves that don't have a port in them are the ones that get the O-rings. So you have one, two, three O-rings and then you have three grooves that have an air port in them. Those do not get O-rings. That's that. We'll go ahead and put this back together here. Stick the airline through, plug the valve in. There is a small detent on uh, the valve body here. That's what your set screw goes into. You'll notice it's lined up with the airline, so if we line that up, and you don't need to tighten this all the way down, it just needs to get flush. That's just keeping the valve housing from rotating when we tighten the threads down. Go ahead and install this piece back in. Make sure you tighten that down, and then this can go back into your buffer tube. The threaded hole here goes on the bottom side of the buffer tube. That's where that little screw we took out at the beginning goes into. Just make sure you guide your your wiring and your airline through. As always when dealing with wiring, don't force anything if it doesn't want to go. Back up, check what's sticking, and try again. There we go. So you can see we can find the threaded hole, we can rotate this piece until we get it to line up. Again, get our 5 fourths. You will want to put some Loctite, some blue Loctite on this, or uh, we use Vibratite, which resists vibration but isn't 
locking like vib like uh, Loctite is. So you can screw that in. This, you will want some blue Loctite on. The large side of the mask goes to the back. Real quick, if you do need to replace the O-rings, there's one on the outside, one on the inside. Just two O-rings, you can't really mix them up. So the large side of the mask goes to the back towards the spring. At the back here, we'll talk about this real fast. There you have a spring, then you have a little rubber washer, and then you have this small retaining plate that the spring sits on, the spring goes on, then your mask. And that whole assembly goes into the back of the system and simply tightens down again using our 7 16 wrench or in this case a driver. There's not a need to over tighten that because when you put the whole system together, uh, the way this is designed with the nut on this end, once it's installed in the system, and then the tightening of the castle nut, the tightening of the castle nut actually uh, stretches the whole thing and puts tension on uh, on this bolt as well as the the nut at the front so that keeps everything locked in place So you don't need to go crazy on this bolt just tighten it in place and you are all set So that's how you tear down your quake stock if you have any questions leave them in the comments section below as always Comments or, seg or suggestions are welcome. You can give us a like on Facebook a follow on Instagram and a subscription here on YouTube so that you can get all the latest updates on Wolverine Airsoft products. Thanks for watching guys